It's Friday, Friday, finished Friday. Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it is finished Friday. Okay, so technically it's pretty late Thursday night. In 28 minutes, it will be Friday. It's pretty late. Um, hence why the hair is like falling out. Anywho, I have three finished things for you. We're gonna start with the ones that my daughter wants back. Um, some of you may have seen them already. Slippers, eyeball slippers with hair on them. They're not supposed to be hairy eyeball slippers. Um, so these are slippers that I made for things we're making Thursday. So I will link that this side. I will link that up here for you guys to go see. Um, the little eyeball slippers. They were really fun. There is a tutorial for the slipper part. Look, hand puppets. <laughs> oh, I will have to show her. Anyway, um, super excited about them. Hope to have more finished slippers soon, even though January is basically over. Um, I personally feel like that things we're making Thursdays got, since it's got a monthly theme, I have until January 31st to try and finish my other pair of slippers. We'll see how it goes because lots going on guys, lots going on. Anyway, I'm really excited to give these back to her. Um, I'll put a picture of, up here of her wearing them cause so adorable. So those are done. Yay. Oh, I have another finished object, but you don't get to see it today. Um, hopefully, might be able to do the video when I get done recording this. We'll see. Um, the plan is to have a video out on Saturday of the Mystery Yarn Challenge reveal. I'm excited about it. It's super stinking cute. You guys are going to love it. Um, but you have to wait until Saturday because that's a special video. So... Mystery Yarn Challenge Reveal. Look for it Saturday. Um, this little hair bit is driving me crazy. It's just like poking out. Let me see if I can tuck it into the braid. Like these, eh. But that one poking out was a pretty, pretty big deal. Okay, um, guess what guys? See this? <gasps> I told you, if I finished the ninth clue, I would put it in finished, um, Friday. So I did. I finished the ninth clue. I cut off, I even tucked in all but the one end. Where is it? It's so far along. So I only have one string not tucked in. That's my last one to help me remember where my end of thing is. Let's see. Look at this. So it's that long, a little less than five feet, I would say, just based on my wingspan. Um, well, we've got this circle in the middle, very pretty. I'm going to put it up closer here, I don't know, well, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I think this uh, rust colored one is really pretty. And then we got some popcorn stitches. And um, you know what's interesting? I, don't, I talked about it once, but it's been so long. This um, cream color here is called Old Lace. And I thought, well, that's a weird name for it. Until I put it on here and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like Old Lace. Like, there's a reason it's called that. And then, oh, see these? the pink rust pink and um, that is just such a gorgeous 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 stitch pattern and then we have a little more little bobbles here in the end like it's just it's really fun three more months worth of clues so I have nine more rounds to go around this thing um, it's supposed to be either a blanket or a shell and Definitely fold it up like that. It could get pretty warm. It's a 
the DK or Sport? I don't have my yarn with me right now. I do know it's Yarntopia from Harvey Lovey. It's an acrylic yarn, 100% acrylic, but oh my gosh, very soft, very soft yarn. I was talking, I was thinking about something um, the other day. Acrylic has come a long way in 40 years because when I learned to crochet back, I'm pretty sure it was in the 80s because it would have been five or six and then last of the 70s. No. I turned eight in 1980. Um, so could have, well, no. I'm pretty sure my grandma taught me to crochet when I was eight or nine. 10 at the latest. No, I know I was crocheting before fourth grade. So eight or I was probably eight or nine years old when she taught me how to crochet. And I remember watching her knit too. I was so fascinated by having this long string that she would just put all the stitches on. It just fascinated me. And now I use it like every single day. Uh, so funny. All right, and the last one is I did make another tithing hat. I don't know, the color, that's a really pretty blue, what it's showing up on my screen right now. Well, this is more of a light blue um, of a icy blue, not a minty blue. But yeah, little baby preemie hat, um, super cute gnome thingy. Uh, this one is 50 stitches around and so it is two of the decrease patterns so it makes this fun little triangle now this one's interesting because then because it's only two sets of that when you turn it on the side it's just straight lines going up that's kind of fun on the side you get the de detail of the decreases on um, this way you get stripes. I just think that's so cool. Anyway, I'm really excited about this. On Sunday, my plan is to make another hat, but do 75 stitches, so it's a little bit bigger. Um, and then, oh, I still have a little bit um, more to go on one. So hopefully, like by Wednesday or Thursday, I can ship off three hats to and three hats is better than no hats I mean like even if I just was able to ship off one hat to help with the preemie thing that's still pretty awesome but I'm hoping to have three done but for now three finished objects four if you count the mystery yarn challenge which you don't get to see I will tell you it's an amigurumi that's all I'll tell you and then you had no pattern that's all I'll tell you that's the other all I'll tell you didn't have a pattern I just made it up as I went I uh, will tell you one more thing it has some knit aspects and some crochet aspects mostly crochet and so mostly crochet has some knit it's an amigurumi and it's done um, that's everything uh, remember to let your light shine through your creations crochet knit watercolors, finger paints, I don't care. Whatever you're doing to create in this world, make sure you're shining your light and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I could go like this. Bye!